I'm Shannon Nack with CBS News Tech Talk, and we're here to check out some 3D motion sensing technology. I'm here with Leap Motion Chief Technology Officer and co-founder, David Holtz. David, welcome. Thank you. And we're here to um, get some demos today, but first let's ask a couple questions. Um, tell me about the device that you have in your hand right there. Yeah, so this is, this is the Leap from Leap Motion. It's the world's most accurate uh, and powerful motion sensing device. So ever. give me some real world examples. Mm -hmm. Like who, how would you use this? Mm -hmm. It could be anything from you know, an architect working on a house to an engineer working on an airplane. Whenever you're making anything, particularly when it's 3D, it makes a lot of sense to have a 3D input device. In a lot of ways, we're, we, think it'll, uh, we think it'll give you the same sort of connectedness with the computer that you have with your tablets and smartphones. Right. So a lot of people may not be familiar with Microsoft Connect, which is a little device that you put onto an Xbox 360 um, that also does motion sensing technology. But what, how is this different from Connect? Mm -hmm. uh, this plugs into your computer, and it's several hundred times more accurate. And when is this available? Uh, this will be available uh, this winter. This winter, and how much is it? Uh, $70. I want you to show me how I could possibly use this at home, maybe. Sure. Um, so, uh, you know, maybe you're on cbsnews.com and, you know, you're trying to browse it. Maybe you're not quite at the computer or maybe you would prefer the sort of iPad experience. And uh, so you sort of just reach out and you kind of just sort of fling it. And uh, it's pretty effortless. It's uh, so easy to click So it's almost like things. bringing a tablet it's, or uh, your iPhone or touch screen, an Android touch screen or something. Mm -hmm and kind of doing it in the air. Yeah, to the computer you already have. <laughs> but this can also be used for gaming. Yeah. Uh, so one of the cool things here is what we're, we're using this accuracy to map a very small area to a very large area. So basically, you know, it's, it's, we're fast and we're accurate. Do you notice I'm, not, I'm actually not even moving my hand right now. Really, I'm just moving my finger. I can cover the entire screen, you know, very accurately. So this is generally a smartphone game, but you can imagine if this was a touch screen. Uh, become very tiring very quickly. Okay, so let's move on to another demo. Right there's New York. I have no idea where we are exactly, so maybe you can show me. Okay, uh, we are on the island. Oh, oh, there goes my finger, okay. Oh, yeah, there. So you can see here, uh, very, very small motions, very easy to pick up. And of course, we can also track multiple fingers. So both of us can go in there. Yeah, I can, get, I can go over here and you can go over there. <laughs> Okay, and then you, you say you can rotate this? It will go out and we'll rotate around so you can see oh here's God, all those so stuff. Cool. Well, thank you very much, David. And for the latest technology, stick with us at cbsnews.com.